I'm going to calculate the pH of a buffer solution that has a weak base, in this case ammonia, and its conjugate acid in the form of a salt. So this is the ammonium ion, and so this is the conjugate acid of the weak base ammonia. So recall this is the ion, the ammonium ion and the chloride ion. And chloride, because it's the conjugate acid, or the conjugate base of a strong acid, will not affect the pH. So as usual, the dissociation of the weak acid or base uh, governs the calculation. So if we write this, NH3, and with a base, it's always best to show the water. We have, well, I'll write it like HOH. So ammonium, the weak base, will react with water. So here's our base. In this case, water acts like an acid and donates a proton. And we have ammonium ion, NH4+, plus, and OH-. minus. So the weak base will make the solution basic and the presence of the ammonium ion will actually uh, cause this equilibrium to change. So we're adding ammonium in the form of a salt and some ammonium is also being made when the weak base reacts with water. So if we write the equilibrium expression for this AQ, water is a pure liquid, so it does not go into the expression. So the KB for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5th, so ammonia is our most common weak base, and that's the KB for that. So this is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5th. This is equal to the OH minus, which we'll need for our pH calculation times the concentration of the ammonium ion divided by the concentration of the ammonia. And if I set up an equilibrium expression, uh, we lose an amount of this, we gain x and we gain x, and the initial conditions would uh, enter into that as well. So I'm going to ignore the small change, and I'm just going to solve for OH minus. So the NH4 concentration came from the salt. So this right here is really 0 0.120 plus a small amount X, which I'm going to ignore because that's not very significant. And then the weak base, ammonia, its concentration was 0.115 minus X. Again, I'm going to ignore that small change. So we're going to solve for OH minus. So it's 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth times 0.115 divided by 0.120. When we are making pH calculations, we got to be careful. And it, since we have OH minus, we're going to subtract the negative log of OH minus from 14. So if I solve for this. 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth times 0.115 divided by 0.12. I'm going to say this is equal to 1.725 times 10 to the minus fifth. I'm going to take the negative log of that answer. So this is pOH, that's 4.76. So our pH is going to be 14 minus that number, and I just do it backwards and ignore the negative sign. So we'll round this to 2, 3, 7. Significant figure-wise, three decimal places would be here because our concentration of three significant figures. And so the pH of our buffer solution this would be basic, and that should make sense because our buffer solution was made from a base, the weak base ammonia, and its conjugate acid ammonium salt.